Please welcome back the incredible host of the iconic Yo Is This Racist? It's Tawny Newsom Hello. and Andrew T. Hey. Hi. Hello. Hi. Good to see you both again. Hi. 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 Lower. Hi. Lower down. Oh, that's a that's about oh, Star thank Trek. You. Yeah. Is this on? Do I? Yeah. You, far seat? I think I. Uh, whatever you want. I think you can share the. You're you're co-host. You can share. Right. You can share a bench. Oh. It's a we're love a seat, bench. you know. John. Yes. It's been a long time. It has been a long time. The last time I saw you, we were out of doors. I know. Do you miss it? <laughs> yes. Something's happened. L.A. broke. Oh. Someone yeah. broke L.A. And uh, someone who's gonna fix it? We gotta t- turn L.A. off and back on again. Oh. Get the weather back. To get it warm. Yeah. This I, is great. Did I, I need love, anything? Thank from you this for part? leaving all this stuff for us. <laughs> You're, so nice. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> In honor of your podcast. We have a disgusting oh, buffet of political moments from the last week. Oh, no. I'll contextualize them. You'll answer the question, no, but seriously, in honor of your podcast, is this racist? Uh, I will tell you. <laughs> the, I'll tell you. Um, uh, Thank the, you. Do you, I don't, do you find that one of the, do you find it's a hard task to define, uh, to, to, to find, to find uh, things to talk about that aren't obviously racist? <laughs> You know, like it's fine to find things in the gray areas. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wait, are we looking for things in the gray areas? I, it's I, we we are fortunate that we have people come to us with all the racist bullshit in their lives. Yeah. And we just are the our task is like turning it into more than one second of answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people the answer call, is like yeah. Yeah, people you, call us and they're like, oh, my HR manager told me that if only the Indians had won the war, blah, blah. And we're just like, okay, turn the okay. thing off. Like, yeah. we got to just, we don't even know where this was going. But like, you know, it's our job to stretch it out. Yeah. We're, we're here to vamp because the answer is. Podcast. You asked two strangers on the internet. Yeah. You know the answer. Yeah. Of course it's fucking racist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Marco Rubio said that banning TikTok videos does not constitute a First Amendment issue because the government is not trying to ban booty videos. This is not a First Amendment issue because we're not trying to ban booty videos. I don't know if there's a better term for it, but that's not what we're trying to ban. This is not about the content of the videos that are online. It is about the dangers to the national security that are presented by the way that this company functions. Do you think saying that they're not trying to ban booty videos... Mm-hmm. is racist and is it the larger context of trying to ban tiktok with fear of china mm. in the mix interesting interesting how do you feel about that andrew as I'm, a spokesperson for china hell yeah hello <laughs> i'm wearing my most chinese shirt right now oh good for you it says is king that shit so that yeah. your taiwanese ancestors will rise up and smack Let's you not. in the face That's, <laughs> it's very complicated the <laughs> geopolitical situation famously complicated um I, uh, my, my first hit was more, um, just, you can tell it's racist because when Marco Rubio says booty, it really hits your ear awfully wrong. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. It sounds like the N word when he says booty. Yeah. You like, you know what he means. (laughs) Yeah. I say it way too much on the podcast, but like just the way Bill O'Reilly says black is also the N word. So like, it doesn't really matter what the actual word is. Yeah. You just know. You know. Also, if these were like a but, like if overwhelmingly it was like a bunch of white booties, I think he'd be real into it. <laughs> I think he'd be like, "Man, we need those booty videos." Yo, is this racist fact? Marco Rubio loves white, white booties. booties. Yeah. <laughs> we say so, it all the time. That's so important. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it's fabric of our nation. Uh. <laughs> What else? Marjorie Taylor Greene accused Canada of helping Mexico participate in the invasion of the U.S. by allowing Mexican tourists to travel to Canada without a visa. It seems that Canada wants to participate in in Mexico's invasion of the United States because many of these Mexicans are obtaining an electronic travel uh, authorization to fly into Canada, and they get that approved within minutes, and then they end up coming into the United States. (laughs) By allowing Mexican tourists to travel to Canada. Canada. I feel like this is a two trains left the station m- word uh-huh. problem. Uh-huh. What has happened? So I, they're go- they can go to Canada without the visa. Mm-hmm. Right. That's it. And that's bad. For travel, okay. for fun. Yeah. Because that's what every Mexican person wants to do is go somewhere very cold where they have no Mexican food. <laughs> you ever eaten Mexican food in Canada? It's a hate crime. It's a hate crime. I love our brethren to the north, but... God damn, make a, make a guacamole that doesn't make me want to shoot myself. <laughs> <laughs> 
Take that, get, Canada. Like, <laughs> whatever. I work for a You're Star cool. Trek show. I already have the most trolls in my mentions. I know that this is going to get me yeah. dragged, but I don't give a fuck. I spent a lot of time in Canada. I love that place. Your guacamole is trash. <laughs> I just like uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, like all Confederates and Nazis, can't really come up with a good invasion plan. Because, like, <laughs> who is flying from Mexico to Canada to invade? That's just poor military strategy. It's a really it's, good point. It's just a roundabout. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think they can't get the guacamole right? It's not... It's such a simple, you know, it's I like, what are, they, what, what are they not putting in or what are they putting too much of in? I don't know. I, if I knew, I think I would be the prime minister. <laughs> I don't know. Hey. And cream. It's weird. They're they putting, putting cream, cream cheese? cheese? Get out. Get out of here. <laughs> Why do you know that? I'm scared. I've spent a lot of time in Canada. Well, it's not a conversation. I'm the- sorry. <laughs> I did that. We did We did ask. I did that. Yeah, I know. Everyone I know. kind of wanted to know. Yeah. Like, as far as heckles go, there's cream cheese in it. That's kind of a good heckle. It does require a follow-up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you're in any performance, if you got a heckle, just yell some shit like that. And then... Yeah. There's cream cheese in it. Yuck. Uh... Trump was on Hannity and he explained his understanding of Chinese politics, saying he believes they use a caste system whereby the smartest person gets to the top. They do it in China, Mm. but it's done a different way. Mm. They have a caste system and the smartest person gets to the top. Mm. Damn. Why do you look right at Andrew? That is so, that Mm -hmm. that sucks. Mm -hmm. Yo, that's racist. (laughs) No, No, we we divvy up the the shit by race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is is how we're able to do our show. We divvy the shit up so that our podcast doesn't sound like me being like, you know what's wrong with the Chinese? And Andrew's not like, too many blacks doing X. Like, we gotta gotta compartmentalize. I'm the one that's like, you know what's wrong with the Chinese? Exactly. (laughs) And it's a lot. Okay. So, um, so Trump, on the one hand, never met an authoritarian regime he didn't like. On the yeah. other hand, he seems to have a confusing understanding of the caste, the so, so, you know, social political system over there. Mm-hmm. I, so, yeah, so do I. I don't understand the political system over there. I don't think it's my job to, but I definitely know it's not Trump's job to. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a really yeah. And it's not a caste system. Yeah, no. I'm that's, loving. That's I'm loving. Cor- that's something we all know. Yeah. How much he hates the idea of the smartest person rising to the top. <laughs> 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 it really is like that. Is like a dagger right to his heart, and I think we can all we can all live with that a little bit. <laughs> Two Kanye ones, and this is the one I wanted to do. Oh, oh yeah. great! <laughs> if you if you must know how the sausage is made, <laughs> I, I want to know. Kanye West credited Jonah Hill's performance in Twenty One Jump Street. <laughs> With making him like Jewish people again in Kanye's first Instagram post of the year. Said Kanye, huh. watching Jonah Hill and 21 Jump Street made me like Jewish people again. No one should take anger against one or two individuals and transform that into hatred towards millions of innocent people. No Christian can be labeled anti-Semite knowing Jesus is Jew. Thank you, Jonah Hill. I love you. <laughs> you. Really a hell of a penultimate sentence there. It's, yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's sort of... It's uh, it's so context dependent because it is you know this is the Instagram post equivalent of the I'm not a baby murder <laughs> my my I'm not a baby murderer T-shirt <laughs> is getting me asked a lot of questions that my T-shirt is trying to answer you know what I'm saying Yes yes for sure I Situation also, I I love the power of actors I love that we have the power to That's turn right. your hate filled heart mm-hmm. into something else I recently watched. One of my favorite movies of all time, House Sitter, um, with Goldie Hawn and Steve Martin. And it made me release any anger I had towards um, lying ass white women because (laughs) Goldie Hawn in that movie is a lying ass white woman and she's the hero of the show. So, you know, I get it. What I'm saying is, Kanye, I get you. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And you always have. You've never stopped saying that, which is troubling. I've said it consistently and I've gotten in trouble for it. No, no, no. I I don't love that about you, but. Kanye's trash. no, I do think it's 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 very stupid that he came to this realization this way, but I guess it's better than not. Like, we'll take a repentant Kanye over a, yeah. 
No. Oh, well, I mean, yes. Given the alternatives, I suppose. I'm just like, no Christian can be anti-Semitic is a hell. That's of, a wild. Is a, that's a wild statement that ignores all of history. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think it ignores mo- most books of the Bible. <laughs> here's the here's I think the challenge here. Uh, if 21 Jump Street can change him this fast, yeah, I don't, I don't trust this change. I don't know that yeah. it'll hold. That's not locked. You're in. right. You know? You're right. You're right. You're right. Because he's gonna watch like a Pixar movie and be like, "We're all clouds," and we're just like, "Okay, Kanye, you gotta." It's not that easy. Right. Right. I mean, even the first half hour of 22 Jump Street is gonna put him back on shaky ground. I feel like so. What's the first? I don't half even know hour what that means. He must, I, I know, I what, but I know it. what you're getting at. Whether or not. We remember if we like 22 Jump Street or not, yeah. and we don't remember. Yeah. He must not see it. No good can come from, come from it. And yeah. we don't. Here's the most important point of the episode. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not gild the lily. Let's not show him any more great Jewish content. Why risk him going the other way? We don't need him to love Jews any more than he does right now. That's right. Correct. Like, right. we can keep him here yeah. good. We don't need to scare him back yeah. right. into hatred like, zone. And, like, you know, you think to yourself, wow, we've got him right where we want him. Let's hit him with Schindler's List. No, mm. we don't need that. <laughs> Who knows? No, we no. don't even know. Who knows what happens? It's a very delicate balance. He sees the Fablemans. We yeah. don't know what he'll we do. We don't know where we he could go. We don't know how he'll respond to You're the right. Fablemans. It's, it's scary. about a Jewish family. None of the actors are Jewish. How's he going to interpret it? He's going to be like, I should pretend to be a Jew next. And we'll be like, no, <laughs> that's not it the It does thing feel to do. like that is the that next That does feel thing. that. Actually, honestly, I got a little twinge of the future. You know what I mean? Am I a like prophet? I, yeah. I think you fucking, I think you chat GPT for the, this situation. <laughs> I want I want to be alive. I mean, I, I am a chat GPT for Kanye. I think I can predict that the next phase of of his mark my words whoa <laughs> the if this next... happens we're this is gonna be cool <laughs> this is gonna be iconic and someone will kill me in the street but yeah. <laughs> the next Two phase of the kanye <laughs> the next phase of the kanye b- bullshit is that he will rebrand as a jewish man i see it i see it it's gonna be madonna kabbalah all over again oh. everybody remember that moment this feels real. Yeah, this just blew really my does. fucking this feel mind. Real? <laughs> hey, let's each make a Kanye prediction just in case. Okay. Oh, and then we'll all man. get matching tattoos. What? <laughs> are you sleeping over this weekend? What are we doing? <laughs> all right. Levi's announced that they will use AI models to supplement their human images that model their clothes online, claiming the technology will increase the number of and diversity of our models for our products in a sustainable way. <laughs> That's Ominous. right. <laughs> Ominous. Uh, so yeah, the, the proposal is there may or may not be available humans of this skin tone, mm. but a computer can always provide. Oh, I love that. I'm, I. What are they going to do it's, to us? It really is like the final, like there's been controversy over the years about the voice actors playing the the race of the voice actor versus the race of the character mm-hmm. they voice in a video game or an animation. This is like the ultimate, mm-hmm. uh, the final. This is the final Pokemon form of that, which is like <laughs> yeah. Levi's believes in representation mm-hmm. in the sense that this looks like that, but don't worry, only white people were involved in every Correct. aspect <laughs> yes. of this. There was no That's person right. of color anywhere near this photo shoot. In fact, this photo shoot didn't take place. Yeah. yeah, it didn't exist. This person is so diverse, they don't exist. These We've ch- achieved a level of impossible diversity. <laughs> I love I love the idea of like genes that are just a thought. And <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. yeah, just like why sell anything? Why just, just have an ad for the diverse idea of nothing and charge $400 for it and everyone can feel very good about themselves. It is so wild that finding a human being is, in their mind, the hard part of taking a picture. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Just take a... Just, there's people everywhere. Just take a picture. There's arguably too many of them. <laughs> well, what's... what's Yeah. I, what's ironic about it, too, is they're like, we haven't been able to come up with a good way to have a bunch of photos that represent the vast panoply of kinds of people. Right. Mm-hmm. But it seems as though all they have to do is go outside. Just start yeah. choosing at random. Yeah. You'll do better than you're doing right now. John, yeah. but what about goingoutside.com? Yeah. What about going outside Computer. VR? <laughs> In the metaverse. Yeah. You guys don't like the metaverse? Come on. What's well, not to like? Uh, <laughs> there's one more subject we wanted to bring to your attention, like a cat dropping a dead mouse at your feet. And that subject is the black scent. 
Producer oh, yeah. Producer Malcolm has a plethora of black scents queued up to play. Ooh. This is the final round. Ooh. Our challenge to you is name the non-black person behind the black scents. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So are these famous people? Yes. No, oh. they're just pe- they're just <laughs> random people from the street. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I meant like are they politicians? Oh no, no, they're just celebrities. They're okay. just, okay. they're just okay. celebs. They're just celebs. I can't wait. Uh Okay. All right. We're going to do either was, bad or really good at this. Was the was okay, the black scent quiz this night. Wait, what did you call it? Name the black scent? What did you? The black scent quiz says it right there on the screen. Was which wigger too spicy for you guys? <laughs> Thank you, Malcolm. Thank you, Malcolm. White people got uncomfortable, but my boy got me. Here's Thank you, Malcolm. You know, look, I see I see how if Malcolm hosted this show, uh-huh. that would be a great name. Look, here's what I do. I like to come here and I like to drop a discomfort bomb every mm-hmm. now and then. I don't feel uncomfortable. A Tawny Newsom D-bomb great. is right in the house. I just know there's things I can't say. Yeah, me too. And I'm comfortable with that. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm very comfortable with that. All right, let's roll the first one. And I'm still in the murder business. I can hold you down. I mean, like I'm oh, yeah. We physical. love her. Okay. This what? is. We, <laughs> no, we love her because the thing you always say about her. Oh, So this right. is Iggy Azalea. Yes. Correct. What did I always say? You say it so much on the podcast. I can't remember now. I'm just. Oh, what I do like about her is it is wild that she does this Trina impression <laughs> because her actual life story is so fascinating when you fucking or not fascinating, but come on, you like w- you were like from like the sticks in Australia, met yeah. Ti, and decided you were to a, be a rapper. Yeah, you were a stripper in the middle of like Darwin, Australia, or like some <laughs> back ass like random town. Fuck it, d- talk like that. Those yeah. people sound wild. It talk would be about that. so. Iggy Azalea could but be some, so much more interesting. It's amazing, you know. But some agent was like, no, nah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, <nah>. oh no. <laughs> All right, let's roll the next clip. I be trending. That's crazy. Yeah. Do I be trending? This one I straight up don't know. I don't know. This sounds like a child. Is, is this the cash me outside child? No. Oh, is this the child who is to be cashed angry. outside? No. Yeah. It was uh, Olivia Rodrigo while streaming. Oof. Oh no. Oof. But we are too old to know that. Yeah, I, I would didn't say, know that. and I will. And I'd like to appropriate a white phrase right now and say oof magoof. That oh. is not right. <laughs> Tawny's I don't love it. Crossing culture. Honestly, I felt uncomfortable hearing the way you said it. Maybe you know it wasn't that you said you can say it, but it's like yeah. no, it just feels. Yeah, I apologize. It's the, the hard way, F at the, the end of the magoof. Hard, it was, was the really hard G. G. <laughs> hard G. It was an oof magoof with a hard G. I hated it. All right, let's roll this the next one. Let's roll the next one. So forget about it, cuz. Oh, is that that uh, sportsman everybody talks about with the big arms? Who, wow. Uh, it isn't. Uh, <laughs> but not, you know what I'm talking about? I don't. <laughs> <Not>. <laughs> I never I never know the sportsman with the big arms. You were arms. thinking I, I would have I would have also guessed a Paul brother. No. Oh. Uh, no, no. no. You You said Paul. Oh, not Malcolm, Paul. get your shit together. <laughs> so it's Paul <laughs> Logan? Is that a person? No. We don't know. The answer is we don't we know. Don't. It was Paul Walker in Too Fast, Too Furious. Oh, but he died. Oh. I know. Well, yeah, so it may, you know, may, his, may his memory do be a blessing, g- but it did happen. Do you get an N-word pass from heaven is what I want to know. Yeah. I mean, for a lot of white folks, that is heaven. And that is the one thing they want. So you have to imagine. I've never thought about this before in my whole life, which is this. If heaven is, if I guess they can't get there. Here's a question. Yeah. If a racist cured cancer and went to heaven because that was obviously mm-hmm. worth it, mm-hmm. uh-huh. in the heaven they can say the N-word as much as they want. Segregated heaven, yeah. <laughs> the thing with heaven is I think they get like a couple of pa- like they get a couple like <laughs> raffle tickets, like chances to say it up there. Like, like God's like, like you like get drink twice. tokens at a holiday at yeah. an office holiday party. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. He's like, you it's cured not- cancer, you get to say it twice. Um, I am now. I this now. I am uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, next up, kill me. Get your ass in here. <laughs> Come on, girl. Do we not watch enough TV? <laughs> I don't know what the hell's happening anymore. I don't know. Ooh. No, I don't. I have no idea who that is. It was Ariana Grande. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh. Or Ariana Grande, as Grande. It was what it was. Uh, oh my goodness! Why does she do that? Well, uh, you know, black culture is taken by all folks in our... Uh, uh, and finally... Big up, 
big up the whole island massive it's your boy Chetana coming straight from the golden gloves you are know saying me see me father Tom expression and I want to forward come big up tune in I mean that's so, got to be Chet Hanks right oh. it is it's Chet Hanks it, it's as much as you know it's coming uh it's horrible <laughs> Can I tell you, I met Chet Hanks once. Oh, no. And he was so delightful. Right. <laughs> like, I have nothing, yeah, I have no course. tea, I have nothing bad to say. I was like, he was just funny and sweet and weird and very nice. And then, and then he, you know, 10 years later, he does all this bullshit. And all I think is like, oh, you met him pre discovering himself. Well, I don't know. I don't know that we know that he talks like this when the cameras aren't rolling. Is this. He, too- D- he a little well in 2012 there were shades of it, it was sorry <laughs> he was it code was, switching it, yeah oh no <laughs> no no uh all right, i well, was gonna guess langston from the first act but <laughs> it was not different oh, yeah. different accent. uh <laughs> thank you you've won the game <laughs> you've won the game thank you so much andrew and tani go listen to yo is this racist and tani start opposite kevin hart in the netflix limited series true story oh that's true and you're on Space Force. That's also true. Uh, and you're voiced Ensign Beckett Mariner on Lower Decks on Paramount+. Plus. And everybody can listen to Andrew and Tawny on Yo! Is This Racist? Yeah. And check out their subscription site, suboptimalpods.com, oh, for even more shows. Wow. You're giving us all the plugs, thank you. All the plugs. <laughs>